Welcome all, welcome one, also all, to the world's least efficient speedrun of Talking Talking House Brothers to Talk Forum. Hey there everyone, this is uh, Cow. Hi Branch Bustle, we're gonna go on a bus and a branch. Apparently I'm... This music seems weird. Um, upside down bush. I guess they're canopies. <laughs> Again, I reiterate that I don't play a lot with the princess or toad because they, like, nullify Yoshi's. <coughs> I had a sneeze there. I'll never need to sneeze any time in a day, except when I'm recording for some reason. It's the weirdest thing. We're on branches. There's guys. Branches in pot. Whoa. Ugh. You probably need to bounce on a bullet to get up there or something. I don't know. There's a tiny pipe. There's cactus. There's jokes. There's lava. There's frogs. There's a midpoint in the land that I can go into. I can go on the leaves if I want to. Or so I would say if it was true. I just got shot in the shoe. I think I'm gonna get better though. Unless there's something else beyond. There could be things everywhere. Oh, well, there's the star! <laughs> Guess I'm gonna go back here after I'm done with the level with the princess or something. It's gonna give me an excuse to play as a princess or something. I'm gonna be like, hey there, princess or something. Unless there's like another way you actually supposed to use to get there, which kind of like undermines that, which is possible. Like maybe you're supposed to jump from way up there. Which is probably actually plausible. It's an actually probably more plausible. I don't know. Making this game. Oh no, jeez! I can't play this game. Sometimes. I don't know why. I have this problem with this game sometimes where I press the jump button while clearly I'm not in a state where I can jump. I guess I just like, just barely fall off the ledge. I'm starting to wonder if Super Mario Brothers X in a world have different, like, you are standing on the block threshold, as in, like, in Super Mario World, maybe you have more let of how much you can overstep a block before you fall off. I believe that could be plausible. It's the sort of thing that the mushroom's going away, because I keep forgetting. The mushroom goes in the direction opposite of what you are facing. That is science, it is demonstrable, demonstratable, it is demonstrable, it is bouncing on land, on air, there's a dragon coin down there, very suspicious. Oh, well I guess you are not supposed to do the high jump, you can just go down here instead, hooray! <laughs> That's a very neat aspect of Luigi, how you can like double chain up yo's. Wow, that was English. There's a- wow, that's a big tree. Consider that a fort, but it's not a big fort. But if you still consider that a fort, it's a good thing, because it is one. It's a fort. It's a fort. It's a fortification. The secret exit's probably in that branch gray we saw. I don't know if I'd be better off bringing a Yoshi, actually. Or I can do that. And actually not get able to go in that pipe. Dang it. Okay, considering I'm holding up there, I got a feeling that's actually a return pipe. But a return from where? That's kind of weird up there. That's what I thought. I just... That looked kind of weird. No, that just weird way the canopy just kind of cleaved half. Like it was already pre-chewed in some fashion. Pretty strange, upside down bush. Why do you haunt me so? Though it's kind of an exaggeration to call that a haunting, but still, you know. Look at my ledge, it is made of wood. Look at my ledge, it is made of food. Something over there, isn't there? Yeah, I've missed something. That is pretty clear. Fortunately, I have the ability to go back and forth through time. Try and figure out what's going on in this land. 
So there's something going on on the underside of the other side. And I wanna find out what. Actually, this may just be a job for Leafton FM. Give me the ability to go here. And then see a door. Also, a down arrow. Why are you downing me, arrow? What are you trying to tell me? What if I want to go inside this tree? I love going inside of trees. It reminds me of home. Oh no, it's Nellian! Shroob. Oh jeez, I don't want to die. This is just a pretty bad ongoing TV station. So your gimmick for this particular version of the fight is that it's a tiny room, but otherwise it's not that tiny. That's like necessarily cramped or anything. You're just... You're just you! What are you doing in a tree? True boo blues Who knows? Uh, nobody knows. I don't know. I don't have a nose. That's why I sniffle. I gotta breathe from my eyes and it makes a sound effect. That's kinda gross. Let's check out the Star Road. As of now, Star Road has always been kind of amazing. Take it to the moon. Gonna ride it high to the moon. Fairly, whoa, auto scrolling suddenly, and Mr. Saturn's around for some reason. He doesn't speak, he doesn't talk, he doesn't say anything, and we've got bouncing little thing, and we got like Mr. Pieces of Cheese. I don't know, actually, it's layer two. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> Consistency! <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Got the moon music from Super Mario Land 2, a video game. We've got ninjas. On a parade! Oh man, and Mr. Saturn's just kind of chilling. We've got nasty old stars there. They're not power stars, you can tell because they're frowning. While a regular consumable star doesn't have a mouth. That's how you can tell the difference between something is happy or not, as if it's smiling or not. This is especially true with, like, most of the animal kingdoms, such as dogs and high jumping ninjas. Yeah, I panicked, and that was the result. <laughs> Panic is always the best medicine. Uh, don't run away from me. Oh, jeez. I don't know. This is kind of scary. Now that I know that I can't spin jump on the critters, it suddenly makes them a lot more dangerous because they work as intended. Can I slide kill them? No. That was the answer. Yeah, you guys are not behaving like your Super Mario World selves at all. So confusing and dangerous to me. My habits entirely destroying me. However, by doing so, healing up my items. It's pretty handy. So, uh, what are Mr. Saturn's doing on the stars? Craziness. It's just... It's Pure Anna tree at this point. Yeah, if I can power up myself, I can actually take a hit and also take a hit mostly. <laughs> that was the biggest advantage of, you know, having a thing there. Ninji, just keep on joshing. I'm going to let you go. Meanwhile, I'm gonna heal up because I'm being attacked by Mr. Saturn. Or oh, many just attacked me, but I just didn't notice or something. I don't know. This is still and forever kind of worrisome, even though it just basically amounts to a muncher cluster. But it's stars in the space, so we don't mind. Although a lot of the enemies weren't actually enemies with Mr. Saturn. I'm gonna go up here. Oh man, I'm gonna go up here. There's a thing up here. You probably want to go up here to do a thing, unless you want to go down there to do a thing. But I somehow doubt I think, yeah, both ways just kind of go in the same place. This is where the red stars hit, and you know the red star, that star, it doesn't want to bite you or anything, even though the other stars didn't bite you, they were just burning. Whoa! Uh, and suddenly it's more Marl Land too, but that's okay, because Mr. Saturns are all up, all, all up in this place, and none of them are saying boing. Is it just me, or this level, not as kooky as the other star world, but it was definitely star themed. There were stars all up in the place. Also, Mr. Saturn walking back and forth. Now that is something worth being inviable of. Or something. I am not sure. Spring ahead and fall back. Those are our orders tonight. I'm kind of scared. What's going on here? Look at that wiggler. I thought a game didn't have a wiggler. We want to go inside the tree. At least down there. 
So you see, you want to go and get the spring ahead and then, then fall back. See, fall back once after you got the thing. That's how things work. Gonna go somewhere, I don't know how. Oh wait, probably that the springboard strong enough to go. What the hell? What's going on here? Oh jeez, violence. That is not nice. Don't be violent against your dogs, please. So I just gotta keep going upwards. I suppose I can sort of do that. I just gotta be careful around Wiggler, but he's angry. How about that? Guess I can go here. The branches are not quite as elaborately placed as in the other branch full level we played. Uh, I think you can sort of say that this was kind of a stopwatch. Wow. Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna. I mean, I, I don't want to stopwatch it. I'm going to make it through! Yes! Of, oh! I'm pretty good at video games, by the way! <laughs> Dang! Okay. Uh, 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 yes! Yeah. So, so is it here. Is this a vine? No, it's just a chord. An accordion. What? I'm kind of afraid of what this means. Oh my jeez, hell! What? <laughs> wow! That defies all laws of understanding. <laughs> oh man, the caveat about this is that now all the critters I've killed aren't kill anymore, but still, wow, that was special to, to use the correct word here, I think. Right, guy? You're a plant. You have no opinion. No opinion plant hood. Ugh! That's just how it goes around here. Why? I don't know. I just gotta be kind of disrespectful against my plants. Guess it helps them grow. It, you no, know, builds them character. What is going on here? I don't know. So there's stuff involved. That's pretty obvious. I guess you can either go in a door, or you can go and eat some chop sueys, or you can go here. What is your problem, my intestinal friend? What potion? What? What's going on? What? What potion? There's a potion? Why are you talking about potions and... Oh! That's probably for the secret eggs. Basically, you need to come here, then use a freeze easy power, and then you can go and press the switch to block the thing from falling. Because, yeah, I saw that thing falling, but I didn't really know. Where are all the blocks go? We're in actually in the midpoint, where the world is not exactly the same. Ah, pumpkin! <laughs> See, the world is not exactly the same. Yeah, everything has died. We've been gone so far long, it's now like the summer or something. Or the autumn, rather. Or the, the guy there. Oh, jeez! Or the guy there is trying to kill me. Saws are gone, and the guy is angry, and the world is now clean-shaven. I am gonna keep my stopwatch as far as I can. I got a piss switch in my buddy! Why is a piss switch in my buddy? I'm not sure. This is a strange but neat level, but strange, but neat. I... Uh, that was... jumped too high, and we're still inside a tree. That's just confusing and conniving and type flying. Yes, honk. Yes, I'm not unacknowledging you there. There we could return there, but then what could the red exit be about? Question mark. So basically, I'm gonna get in here and press select as fast as I can. And it didn't do anything. Why? Why well, didn't it do anything?
There we go. Why didn't it work last time? I don't know, but I kind of like the dust just kind of being everywhere. So basically, I wait here to press the switch. Okay. Oh, there we go. And it like even counts the switch. Wow, wait, portable doors are in this game? Wow, wait, what? Oh man, I'm in Subcon! It's pretty swell. There's coins everywhere that I can grab and eat. I wonder if I have the time limit of the Subcon door. I guess not, because I haven't died yet. Well, or at the very least, not been transported out of Subcon yet. Just ate a mushroom, it's pretty swell. Gonna go up, down the Subcon door and die. Except the thing- Oh man, suddenly it's winter for no reason. <laughs> no answers given, it just is. Live with it. Man, this is a pretty good usage of the multi-season gimmick, if only because it's kind of subtle about it, in the sense that it like doesn't go outright and bonk you on the head over it and stuff. It just kind of comes out of surprise. Well, now it's winter. Trees still exist, but not for long. And man, plants are dangerous in the winter because they throw fire to keep themselves warm, and you can't freeze a saw, but you can freeze the light, and you can freeze a break, and oh man, that wiggler does not like it. It does not like the heat, because that's why it wants some more. It's kind of confusing, the snow makes it hard to kind of navigate. At least the plant should be dead and stuff. Yes! Someday I'm gonna learn the truth about the world. And the truth's gonna be that you are not there. Oh no, I can't make it beyond. Um, someone froze the world. Maybe they froze the end of times? At the very least, at the bottom of that hole. Yes, they did. That's pretty fortunate. Oh man, I wonder what's the puzzle here. Stop and swap! <laughs> okay, Mr. Video Game! <laughs> Think about it, it's clever how the plants are coming out of that little plant thing. Oh man, I just swapped that stop. Man, where, where is that? I don't know. Is that still part of World 5? I guess so, since the music doesn't stop. I guess we'll be chilling out up here next time. And whenever it meets back in the Frost Continent is when I'm gonna go check out the Star Sanctuary, I guess. So next time, this little tidbit of adventure up here in, you know, random grassland town, mushroom land. And join me next time when... That mess of word comes back.